Hey guys, Sean Jean Phillips with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. They're gonna go out today, should things come out today, see if things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, there's not a whole ton of new bigger things that are gonna be in stores today, I believe. I know one of the bigger things that's releasing today is, you know, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory coming to 4K for the first time. Other than that though, I think there's a couple other things today, but not a lot uh, releasing today. But there is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews at the end of this video. So definitely stay tuned for those. Those are some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. And as always too, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that are reviewed at the end of this video. If you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them. Also, if you guys plan on picking any of them up. Also, though, there's one thing at Walmart that I have been looking for for the last, like, two days already. I'm going to probably go to at least, like, three Walmarts today trying to find it. I'll talk more about it as it goes in Walmart, but it's, like, something very specific that I, that I really want to try and find in Walmart today. I don't know if I will. Uh, the One of them that I went to, uh, they said, uh, come back like the next day or two because it says that we have it, but it's somewhere in the, or it's going to be arriving or something like that. So we'll see. Maybe I can find it at that one, but it's one of those real fingers crossed kind of things. But anyway, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. But in here today, though, I'm not really expecting too much out today. Because like I was saying, really the, one of the main only big things released today was, you know, Willy Wonka on 4K, which I, I feel like that will probably be in some stores. I feel like they're going to have it. They might have it in Target. We'll see if they end up having it at Walmart and Best Buy and everything like that. And I don't know if there's any exclusives of that one or not. We'll see, though. Like I said, though, the big thing that I'm looking for today is in Walmart. So I'm definitely going to be going to a handful of Walmarts. So I, like I said, I'm probably not going to have any luck, but, you know, it's a fingers crossed thing though well we'll take a look over here though and see if they have anything out here in the front I'm not expecting anything new out here they have been changing it out more often lately though oh no one of the other things today uh, was uh, his dark dark materials um, season two that was one of the other ones today and that's on blu-ray for $22.99 and $19.99 for the DVD but they don't have that one out though on the shelf but other than that, like I said, that was one of the other ones uh, that was new today. So that might be one of the only new ones we'll see like everywhere uh, is His Dark Materials. And then we'll see with Willy Wonka. I feel like that would be one though the 4K would be in all stores. But, you know, all the main stores. But we will see. But we'll head over to the section though and see if there's anything else different over there though. But like, fingers crossed, there's something else over there. We'll see. Yeah, but nothing at all new in the actual section. Like I went over there and they had like all the stuff out, like the papers and stuff like that. They were like they were getting ready to like restock the section and change stuff out. But I didn't see like a, a card or anything like that with anything to change. Like I didn't see like any new movies or anything that to change out or anything like that. So like I said, I feel like the only thing new that they're probably going to have was the His Dark Materials Season 2 one. But if you went to Target today though, let me know in the comments below anything else new that you saw today. And if they did end up carrying uh, Willy Wonka on. 4k there uh, as well into walmart we go yeah but when it comes to walmart though the thing that i'm looking for in here is something that i can't believe that is like actually coming back out again like getting a re-release because it was like this really limited thing when it came out you know when the movie first came out but it's the turbo man doll from jingle all the way and i remember you know seeing it back when the movie came out in theaters i remember seeing that doll for sale in i believe it was a walmart exclusive back in the day like 97 and i remember seeing it and i didn't see the movie yet and i regretted since then, not buying that thing, because if you guys know, that thing was always valuable, impossible to find, and everything. So now, it's been reissued, and they brought it back and everything, it's going to be only at Walmart exclusive, but it's a pain because you can't see it online to see where it's available, what locations, or any of that. At least as of now, it's not on there. So it's been a pain. I've already gone to, like, probably, like... I don't know four different stores already the last couple days and everything and no luck the one store they were saying how uh, it looked like it was in the system for coming in the next day so we'll see I'm gonna go to that one as well but you know it's a real fingers crossed kind of thing because I would love to find a thing I think it'd be very cool after all these years to actually find it even though it's a reissued one still be very cool but we shall see though also, I have to make sure I correct it's Jingle All the Way it was 1996 right after I said it I said 97 I was like no I did not say the right date. <laughs> I was wrong. I know that's not a big thing, but just wanted to mention that, that that was the, 
<laughs> the wrong date, but we'll see. Like I said, I was in this location, I think like two days ago, uh, looking at this one and I didn't see anything. I don't even know for sure where they're gonna put it. I think in the toy section, but it is from Funko. Is a company that's you know re-releasing and redoing the toy. So that's the one thing I don't know for sure if it's gonna be in the, in, in the movie section. They put some Funko Pops and some Funko items. So we'll see, I don't know what spots for sure they're gonna put it. I think the toys, because the box is real, in the, in the actual toy section, because the box itself is very big. Um, walking by the movies and seeing, as you can see, not much. We'll, we'll peek back there, but not expecting much over there, but let's head to the toys. I think they're down this way and we'll see. I don't know, I'm not expecting it, but I guess we'll check in this section first though, just in case. But yeah, see like I was saying, like over here they have some items that are like Funko things like this, but I feel like the box is a little bit bigger than this, so I don't know if it would fit in this area or not. I don't see a spot for it or anything, but this is where they have some of the Funko stuff. But we'll head to the actual toy section though and see, but let's just check here first though to see in case there's anything else here, but as you see, if I think it was like they really releasing G.I. Joe on 4K today, I believe. Those are some of the other ones, but no, none of them are out. It's all still empty and everything. Let's just quickly peek over in here to see if there's anything else different. And no, there's still like a whole bunch of empty spots and everything. So I don't see anything different here that I haven't seen in the past couple weeks. That's sort of the way it is with Walmart now. I've kind of learned to just sort of like accept it. You know what I mean? Like that's just how it is. But let's head over to the toys though. And we'll see what they have over there. We'll just do it all in one take and see. I, I have a feeling I know, though, where they would put it. I think with the action figures is where I'm thinking. Let's see, though. Like I said, I was in here probably two days ago. And I'm sort of thinking it's probably going to be down in, let's see, not that section. Probably down here. So you see some... Some of the Ghostbusters stuff here. And I did get these ones already. They they brought back these ones, which are really cool. These reissues. So I got these ones like maybe like two weeks ago. Let's see though. Yeah, like see, I felt like kind of around in this area is where it would have been. Like in this area is what I was sort of thinking. But I don't see like a spot for where it would be. And you always have to check on the top here and everything. But no, I don't see it. I'll keep looking though for it. Now this is the Walmart that I was mentioning though that I had, um, you know, went to and then they looked in the computer and they found like a barcode off of like Twitter uh, for it because you couldn't find it on the system at all and they said it looked like it was going to be delivering yesterday. So we'll see, you know, what they what they have. So, you know, like I said, fingers crossed maybe they put it out and maybe I'm catching them right now. So <laughs> we'll see though. But before we go over to the toys though, let's check and see if there's anything else different here in the past couple of weeks. I'm not seeing anything mixed in here as far as i can tell i see some empty spots so yeah so like gi joe uh yeah it's, it's, it's like some different gi joe releases so those seem to be the main things that they're gonna have today i don't see those ones out i believe like i said there was like a the 4k releases and there may have been like re-releases of those ones as well but yeah not seeing anything you know different over here i peeked over there where they had the funko toys and i didn't see anything i saw the one guy stocking over there but he was like just a book guy but no, I don't see it here. We'll head over to the actual toys though and see if we can find it. And if not, then I'll try and ask them. Cause this is the one, like I said, I had called and they had already said that it was showing as getting delivered. Like when I was, I think her, two days ago. So like the following day, they said it's when it should have been, been arriving. So we'll check the toys just in case. Like I said, if you guys find it, let me know where you're finding it in the stores and everything. Yeah, looking over here in the actual section though, I don't see it, you know, it's, there's lots of empty spots and stuff like that. I just saw the one woman over here, so I might ask her to see if she can find it. But like, I feel like it would be like, maybe down there? Because this is like the Funko kind of stuff. If anything says, maybe this could have been it. Is this, no, pig heady thing, no. But I feel like it would have been maybe in this kind of a spot. Because I think there might have been, is this sort of the Funko stuff? Because they have a little Funko section maybe in this area is where they would put it like down there that's the thing it's like kind of like weird i remember back in the day like you know when toys r us was around and everything they used to have like these things up here that would open up i remember like as a kid i would always look and sometimes they'd have the other toys under there but no i'm not not seeing it and not seeing anywhere that it could go into the third walmart we go 
Well, fingers crossed again, like you come right to it from this entrance, so it's like you have the bad news right when you get here, but maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be some good news. Let's see, let's see down here. This one has a little bit more in here than the other one, like the section seems a little bit more. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, I found it. I found one for me and one for my brother. Oh my God, I can, I can. Uh, this is some good news. I, I needed this today. There's a lot, a lot playing this movie and, and I'm doing next week. So, yeah, this is so very good news. I'm very, very happy about this right now. This is what my goal today was to find these. And I did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, I know I'm acting crazy, but I found them. One for me and one for my brother, finally. Over here though in the actual section with movies though like see like as you can see it's they now started locking this up This one didn't used to lock things up over here. I can see a couple other things over here Like I don't see any of the new stuff today though. I'm not like I said I'm not worried I found the turtle man that was what I wanted to find but like over here Yeah, nothing over here, but you can't be upset at Walmart when you found the turtle man dolls though Like I said though, I just cannot believe I cannot believe that I actually successfully found these. I was thinking that there's gonna be no, no chance at all. And people are putting these up on eBay for these crazy prices, you know, like all, the, it's just crazy. It's like really terrible prices. So I'm like really glad to have found these. Like I said, it was a something that I really wanted to try and find. And you know, I start shooting the film, uh, you know, starting on Sunday. So I'm gonna be totally busy. I'm not gonna have any time to look anymore or anything. So I just, I wanted to successfully find these. So at least I did, at least I found these though. Yeah, well, like I was saying, even though, you know, nowhere is having any of the new stuff out on the shelves, at least I have, you know, luck finding these today. Like I said, I was so glad, and I'm not, like, you know, reselling these or anything like that. I'm keeping this, and then the other one's for my brother. We both wanted them. We both, you know, regretted not having them back in the day. So it's like, finally, I finally got these ones. Now, it's kind of like when I got the blank figure from Dick Tracy. I got it, like, maybe, like, eight or nine years ago. For Like, finally, it was a toy I always wanted as a kid. And this, to me, is like getting that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It's just very cool. It's not, of course, the original one, but it's the reissue, and still the reissue is impossible to find. And I'm glad I got it. And it was like a tap. It was a, a kind of like the really in Jingle All the Way hunt to try and find this thing. But I found it, though. Into the fourth Walmart we go. But yeah, though, I'm actually only coming into this other Walmart, though, because I was, you know, it's right next to the, um, the Best Buy that I'm going to. So I figured might as well just look. Maybe they'll have some other movies out in this one. You never know. And I figured just look in the toys just to see if, just in case they had them out in this location as well. But like I said, really was glad to find those because I already went to before today, like, uh, probably like at least five different stores or something like that with absolutely no luck and it was one of those things too that since you know everyone's putting it up on eBay and stuff for these crazy prices it's like one of those things that it's like the second it gets in the store it's like gone but luckily enough it was like really happy to have found those but we'll see check the movie section though just to see if they have anything out here today uh, this location can be like hit and miss most they pretty much all are nowadays hit and miss with the movies but we'll see though but yeah though in the actual section though I am seeing a couple of different things in here today that I haven't shown on the past I think these were from like last week some of these came out it's always hard to show these in here but there's one here called broken armor and all these ones are 996 one called enforcement here uh, one called blood on the crown this Malcolm McDowell movie there pastor this one here looks kind of interesting called Fear. If any of you guys have seen that one, let me know how that one was. Uh, anything for Jackson. A lot of these ones were like the last two weeks or so. Uh, the Deep Ones, that's another of the more recent ones. I think this might be new too, this um, God Rega versus King Ohaiga. Um, this one here for $9.96, I think that might have been a newer one. Same with Your Honor. Uh, let's see any other ones mixed in down here. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. I saw one thing on the bottom, a couple other ones like Percy versus Goliath. I think that's a more recent one. Um, what else did I see over here mixed in? I saw one other thing I know down here. Oh yeah, this was one of the other ones. Um, you Are the Young Men. That was one of the other ones today for $9.96. Uh, and that one, I should be waiting, getting a copy of that to review soon. It's had like a weird delay in the mail for some reason. Like it got sent to like, oh, it's like being sent all around. I have no idea what's going on with that. Other than that though, I did see over here the G.I. Joe. So this is like for uh, for $9.96. I think it's like a reissue here of G.I. Joe Retaliation. And I know there's going to be a 4K, but I don't see the 4K one of that one in here though.
Yeah, but I quickly came over here to the section and like it was kind of like around this area in the other store. I think it was like kind of like in this spot right around in here. I think oh. where, where it was, but no, I don't see it like hidden anywhere. I don't see it anywhere down on the bottom or anything like that. So I got really lucky. They must have like just put them out in the other store because there's only those two. But yeah, I don't see it anywhere down here. Uh, and I don't, let me just check around the other side just in case they put like the Funkos maybe in a different spot. Some of that stuff, but no, I don't see any down there. So no, I think I just got really, really lucky. But let me know in the comments below, guys, if you guys go out looking for uh, the Turbo Man doll and if you guys end up finding it. Because I'm really curious how many each store is getting. Because I feel like it might only be two. Maybe that's why they're going to go so quick. Each store only gets two or maybe four at the tops. Like I said, though, if you guys went looking, let me know if you guys were able to find uh, one or anything like that into Best Buy we go. Yeah, well, in here today, though, I went over to the actual front, and I didn't see anything new over there, but I did see, though, some of the things today. Like I was mentioning, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the 4K edition, and that one is a $24.99 for that one. This is, like, one of my most watched movies of all time. Like, I absolutely love this movie. I was talking about the 4K at the end of this video. This is another one which I've never seen before called Battle Beyond the Stars. This is the Steelbook edition here. It has a really cool shine to that one, the Shout Factory Steelbook, the Scream Factory one, $22.99 for that one. And then in His Dark Materials is $22.99. 99 for that one here as well but other than that though i don't see anything else different here though that seems to be all the different things here that i see today though so anyway though guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also though, let me know in the comments below, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. If you guys ended up picking up anything new today. And also too, let me know if you went out looking for that Terminator as well, and if you had any luck. Because I'm, I'm, I'm curious if, you know, like I said, how many of their, their stores are going to have, and all that kind of stuff as well. And also too, be sure to let me know as well what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. If you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and uh, you know, and if you guys plan picking any of them up and also to let me know anything new that you guys have watched on streaming any new tv shows or movies or anything like that as well but anyway though guys now stay tuned for the brand new reviews and the first ones I got here are both from Arrow Video, and these are ones that I just want you guys to know were available. And the first one here is the uh, Sam Peckinpah film, uh, Major Dundee. And this one here is the limited edition. This is the two-disc limited edition uh, version here. It's, you know, disc one has the extended version of the film, and then disc two, and that's exclusive to the limited edition, includes the theatrical version of the film as well. And on here, though, it has the 136-minute um, extended version of the film from a 4K scan, as well as the original 122-minute um, theatrical version. It has a 60 page booklet in here on here as well as a fold out poster and some of the features that are on here as well like I said it has a 4k scan by Sony Pictures on the extended version it has a commentary track on here commentary by film historians on here a whole bunch of different commentary tracks uh, passion poverty the Dundee S um, Odyssey a feature late documentary about the making of major Dundee uh, on there it has on here though uh, it has um, Mike Siegel about the Passion and Poetry Project in which filmmaker Mike Siegel talks about his beginnings and ongoing historical project about director Sam Peckinpah. Uh, animated stills gallery on here featuring rare onset, rare onset behind the scenes, uh, marketing materials, as well as the 2006 re-release trailer. And then on the, uh, uh, the disc 2, which is the limited edition one, which has the theatrical version, that's presented in a 2K scan. It also has on here Ring for uh, Riding for Fall, a vintage behind the scenes featurette about the stunts of Major Dundee. Uh, has uh, deleted extended scenes, uh, silent outtakes, uh, select uh, uh, extended deleted scenes, outtakes with commentary track by film historian on there, uh, as well as theatrical U.S. and German theatrical trailers on these ones. And like I was saying too, it has a poster. So it has a poster for the film. And it's a double-sided poster. So it has the uh, you know the artwork that's on you know the um, on the front, and then it has like the original like kind of like this is I guess like the lobby card uh, for the movie. And then also it has in here this really nice booklet, which is like really nice shine and everything to it, which has, you know, pictures from the movie, stuff about the production, all that kind of stuff here uh, as well. Really, really nice design on this one. Here's a look at the back. And then the other one, and here's a look though at the discs. So you have the uh, theatrical version here, and then it opens up like this. And then you have the um, extended version here of the film uh, as well, and it has a card promoting, you know, one of the future releases, you know, Monster uh, A Go Go in here. But really cool release here from uh, Arrow Video. And the other one, too, from Arrow Video that I want to let you guys know was available was a movie here uh, called Threshold. There's this one here called Threshold. 
And this one here, uh, this one has um, feature wise, this has a brand new Conte track on here with the directors on here. It has on here a brand new Conte track on here with the directors, as well as the editor, uh, feature length documentary about the making of the film, elevating iPhone footage, you know, talk because the movie was shot on the iPhone, and so it's talking about, you know, how they were color correcting the footage and that kind of stuff. On here, it has a something from nothing indie genre uh, director roundtable on here with directors talking about the production. On here, it has um, uh, the original outline script, theatrical and teaser trailers, image gallery on here, and I'll show you guys the look inside here as well. It also has a booklet, some stuff about the production, you know, stills, all that kind of stuff here uh, as well. And then it has the, the card in here for the stylist. This one just came out a couple weeks back. Uh, you know, the Arrow video released, uh, you know, I think like maybe th three weeks ago, something like that. Uh, and the next one's here. This one here is from a Shout Factory Scream Factory line. And this is um, also for an IFC Midnight release. And it's a movie here called Hunter Hunter. And this one has in here uh, Devin Sawa, uh, Nick Stalls in the film. And this is basically, though, this is an interesting film. It's, a you know, dealing with... Um, you know, it's um, uh, Devin Sawa's character who lives out in the middle of the woods with his family. And they're kind of like living off the land. They don't have any electricity out there. It's all like, um, you know, they have like, you know, lanterns and stuff like that. No power or anything. And they basically live by f what they catch. So Devin Sawa's character is always going, catching animals. And then like making like um, pelts and furs and stuff like that. And like, you know, and selling them in town. And that's kind of like the only way that they kind of make some money. Uh, you know, is to bring some money in is by selling these things and stuff like that but they're having all these problems because there's a wolf that is going around and like killing the the, the basically he sets all these traps Devin Sawa's character catches these traps for these animals to, to, for, to feed his family and everything but the wolf is like grabbing and you know eating the stuff that they've caught so they're having a big problem so it's basically about him trying to catch this wolf but what ends up happening is he gets obsessed with it, but then he also discovers something out in the woods, and it kind of takes this whole other direction with what he discovers out there. It's a really, really interesting uh, film. Some really some cool. Uh, it had, I don't know. I really like this one. I thought Devin Sawa too did a great job in here, and it was a very different role. I thought for him as well in, in here, and I thought he did a really, really good job. Nick Stahl was really good in the film as well. Uh, the next one here is um, from Shot Factory as well, uh, in this movie here called uh, Stardust, and this is a movie about. Uh, David Bowie, and this is basically though about this was a, in 1971. It was him, you know, a biopic on David Bowie about when he was coming to America to basically promote his music, and it was kind of like he was. This is kind of before he really found his whole style and everything, and, and it wasn't you know getting a huge response. And then he was kind of like in interviews, he had like certain ways of acting, and he never really was himself. He was always kind of like these different ways, and he kind of discovered that he needs to kind of create a, or in a, an actual character to. To do this and to become successful with the music and and you know get more of a response and it's kind of talking about how he created the Ziggy Stardust character, which is what really launched him and he became so huge with that character and and, and the songs and the stuff that he did as that persona. And this is essentially though about how that kind of came to be and things like that. Uh, Jenna Malone, she's in the movie as well. I thought this was actually a pretty good movie. Like I said, this one here is uh, called Stardust. And the next one I got here is from Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy of this one to let you guys know this one is available. Now, a lot of people ask me, too, like, what are some of the most, you know, watched movies that I've watched again and again and again throughout my life the most times? And usually I would say, like, stuff like, you know, the, you know, Pee-Wee's Big Adventure, uh, both the Bill and Ted films, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, uh, you know, probably Ernest Goes to Camp. Uh, some of those ones, Ernest Goes to Jail. Like, some of those are ones, the things that I watched non-stop uh, and this is one of those other movies that I've watched non-stop probably at least once or twice a year every, every year of my life pretty much and this is now available on 4k for the first time and this is also the 50th anniversary edition of the film and this is you know uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and like I said this is the 4k edition which includes the 4k the blurry and the digital copy of the film but you know this is one of those movies I like I said I absolutely love this movie I like the you know Tim Burton's you know a version of the movie as well uh, but I still always love the original the best. And I, and like I said, I've watched this so many times. It's essentially about the character of Willy Wonka, though, who's like this mysterious figure that no one really knows about this guy because he's kind of like a recluse and he like um, did this stuff and like fired all the employees of the factory and no one knows how it's continued and no one's seen him for years. He doesn't leave. He doesn't leave the factory. No one knows what's going on and he's now had this contest going on where he's going to have these, giving out these golden tickets to people who can actually come into the, you know, to the factory and that's basically what it is and Charlie, uh, the character of Charlie Bucket who lives with his, you know, his family and they live in this really small 
small, tiny little shack house, and like the grandparents all sleep in the same small bed, and they have hardly any money or anything like that. And essentially, though, Charlie really wants to, you know, win this golden ticket, but they don't have a lot of money, and it's kind of like, you know, him. And of course, if you guys know, of course, you know, of course, he's going to end up in the factory, and it's kind of he gets there, and it's just kind of like what happens in the factory, and you know, uh, it's it's a, gr a great movie. I mean, like I said, I if you have never watched this, just go out and watch it. Especially if you never watched it, and you have 4K. This is the best way to watch it for the first time ever. Like it looks amazing, and it's also a, such a colorful movie. Like the color palette and everything is like it's one of those like like there's so many colors and 4K. This really benefits in 4K. Uh, on here too, feature wise, it has um commentary track by, with the Wonka kids on on uh, plus on the Blu-ray it has the documentary to your imagination the story of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory uh, four sing-along songs uh, vintage featurette as well as a theatrical trailer on this one and the next one here this is from um, Warner Brothers as well and this is another one I just want you guys know was available and this is a show which also airs on HBO and this is one that I only saw a couple episodes of the first season so it's kind of hard to explain uh, but it's this is the um, the complete second season here of the show uh, His Dark Materials and this has the Blu-ray as well as the digital copy, you know, of the um, of the show. It's essentially, though, to kind of explain it's about, like, this girl who is an orphan. And she kind of goes into this other, like, this... In this world, there's, like, people have, like, their animal, animal, like, counterparts and stuff like that. And, like, their animal forms that, like, kind of follow them around as, like, their protectors, in a sense. It's, and it's kind of like her... Uh, and then there's, like... Um, uh, people who are coming after her and there's like these bad characters that are kidnapping people it's like I said it's very hard to explain it kind of has the vibe of something like um, taking like Lord of the Rings mixed with Chronicles of Narnia uh, you know um, kind of like all that kind of mixed together it, it kind of has that sort of feel to it like steampunk sort of feel all that kind of stuff all kind of combined and together uh, on here though feature wise this size on here um, a bunch of different featurettes on here uh, yeah, a whole bunch of different featurettes on like the making of the of the show, all about the the, the universe and all that kind of stuff here uh, as well. And I'll show you guys though a look inside because it also has alternate artwork, so it has different artwork inside here as well. So that was really cool. And then it has like I said the digital copy as well as the um, has like a little episode guy in the back, and then it mentions the, you know the um, the features and that kind of stuff here, you know as well. But a really fun show. Like I said, just a little hard to explain, but an interesting series though. And the next one here too. This one is from um, Paramount. This is one that I want you guys to know is available, and this is a brand new uh, Steelbook release here. This is the 35th anniversary, you know, the uh, movie's now 35 years old, and this is the Steelbook celebrating the 35th anniversary of the film. And this is one of those movies, like, if you guys have never seen this, this is the Steelbook, like I said, of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Another film that i watched so many times throughout the years, but I, I didn't see it, though, until later in life, though. I've watched it a lot, but I watched it more like when I was in, like, probably like when it, I don't know, maybe, like, 99 or something a lot later than I should have I don't know why it was one of the John Hughes movies that I watched a lot later than other ones because like as a really little kid I was watching Uncle Buck all the time and like uh, you know that was probably my as a kid most watched you know John Hughes movie and this is basically about Ferris Bueller ditching school and everything and it's just kind of that's basically that's what it is and it's kind of like he has all this talking to the camera and stuff it's a really I, I like that you know in John Hughes stuff and stuff that he would write and stuff he has the characters like talk to the camera and stuff he did that a lot you know of course Home Alone, because like, how could it, would there have been any dialogue in that movie if he didn't talk to him to himself and stuff like that? So it's kind of a funny thing that he always would do. Uh, but this is a really fun movie uh, on here, feature wise. Though this has uh, getting the class uh, together, the cast of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the making of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, Vintage Ferris Bueller's uh, Lost Audition Tapes on here. Uh, the World According to Ben Stein featurette. And here's a look, though, inside here as well. I'll show you guys the inside of the slip cut, uh, the, um, the steel book. Here's a look inside. Here's a look at the back here as well. Like I said, it also has the digital copy of the film uh, you know, included as well. And the next one here, this is from, um, from Screen Media. And this is a really well done documentary. This is called Street Gang, How uh, We Got the Street... Uh, how We Got... No, sorry. Street Gang, How... We got uh, to Sesame Street, so that, that's how you say it. A, a slight tongue twister with that one. And this is a documentary, though, all about you know Sesame Street and how Sesame Street had started and kind of the very beginning of it. And it's you know interviews 
interviews with people who were involved in the series throughout the years and people who were there at the very beginning. What, what's really cool though is there's tons of this amazing like archival footage. So they would show like uh, stuff where they would show clips of the actual episode of uh, Sesame Street when you'd see like the actual video. And this is stuff stuff from like 1960s ones and 70s ones and everything. But then they would cut an 80s ones and then you would see like the behind the scenes of it, which was cool. And you'd see them like puppeteering them. You'd see like behind the scenes of like all the characters like with the, the heads off and stuff walking around. I don't know. I, I, I like that kind of stuff. That stuff's really cool to see the behind the scenes of stuff like that. And that's basically what this is and just kind of talking about how this was like the show that really started educational TV and making it more, you know, smarter with what it was and was, you know, actually really putting effort into the, the content and that kind of stuff. It's a well done documentary. On here though, feature wise, it has a bunch of different bonus stuff like um, Muppet outtakes, when it went wrong. It has on here uh, interviews with the puppeteers, uh, Sunny Day's Origin of a Song, uh, Sounds of Sesame Street featurette on here, uh, you know, as well. The next one here, this one is from, um, uh, you know, from Epic Pictures, and this is from their Dread uh, line, their Dread Presents line. This is a movie here called uh, Queen of Spades. They also sent over two of these um, little, like, promo items to go with it to show you guys, like, they sent, like, this little lipstick thing here, and then they sent, uh, like, a card, like a Dread Central uh, card here, and then a little sticker for them and then this is like promoting one of their future releases in there's like two different ones there's one coming out july 20th called the maid there's another one here called howling village which comes out on demand august 17th you know as well and there's also a little candle here you know as well but this is a cool movie this is basically though like i said this one here is called queen of spades and it's basically about these people that it's, it's sort of like um like a bloody mary kind of candy man type thing and they kind of come across like it's like um a group of these friends and the one friend was like their younger friends and they ba and they basically end up like doing this stuff with like w when you kind of call the queen of spades and it's like this whole ritual but they end up doing it it's one of those things where it's like like with candy man you know by calling this ritual it becomes terrible and then they start being kind of haunted by this and if you know things get very bad and bad things start to happen to them it's a really cool movie uh you know i thought this one was actually really really cool uh this one has on here though uh, uh feature wise it has deleted scenes has a commentary track it also has cast auditions on here uh as well the next one here though this is from you know from mvd and it's also from um I think it's called, I don't know how to say the name of the company. It's J-I-N-G-A, J Jinga Films, I believe that's how you say it. But this one, this movie was great. Like, this is a top recommendation. I thought this was a really fun movie. Uh, this stars Caroline Williams, and I thought Caroline Williams was amazing in this. Like, I've always been a fan of Caroline Williams forever. You know, of course, she's, you know, Stretch in, uh, you know, Text Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Uh, but, you know, and tons of stuff. But this is probably next to Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, my favorite thing she's ever been in. And I, and it's like, this is Caroline Williams' film. She's the full star of this movie. She was great. And you, if you're a fan of Caroline Williams, this is one to watch. She was so good. And I really great i mean amazing it's one here called 10 uh 10 minutes to midnight and it and what's cool too is she's playing uh a radio dj in here too so it was kind of cool that she came back and did a dj character and it's essentially though it's about her character and she's like getting ready to basically be fired from she's been working there as like this dj for like i think it was like since the 80s and you know she her character and she's been there for like I think like 30 years or something like that or 20 some years and you know she's this popular radio just kind of shock jock kind of DJ and she's getting ready to be replaced and the boss is this kind of skeezy, skeezy guy and he has this one girl who's come in who's going to be her replacement and she and she kind of finds this out right before she goes on the air and essentially though right when she was getting to, to work she got bit by something coming in she's like oh something bit me and she has these bite marks on her neck so what ends up happening though is when she's on the air and she gets winded she's going to get fired and everything she starts to freak freak out and starts going kind of crazy uh, and like just get, gets kind of weird and she says all these crazy things and then she starts to change like changing because of this that what had happened and it's kind of her go, you know going after people in there it's a really really cool movie like and it has these really like you know interesting I don't know just like flashbacks to like showing her character when she was younger and when she just started working there it was really creative the way this was done and the one actor in here too you know that passed away 
in here, Nicholas Tucci, he was amazing in here. You know, Nicholas Tucci was in Your Next. Uh, it was sad watching this because he was so cool and he was so good in this. I mean, he is amazing, his role in here. Like, he would have just continued to go on and doing so much work. He, I don't know if you guys know, like, he was in that. He was in uh, Channel Zero, one of the, one, I think the last season of Channel, Channel Zero. I think the first or second episode, or first two episodes of that he was on. But he's always, was always great. Uh, but honestly, guys, must watch. If you guys have seen this, let me know what you thought. Uh, this has on here, though, feature-wise, it has a teaser, has, has behind-the-scenes, audio commentary, interviews, as well as intros on this one. And the next one I got here is from MVD as well. And this one is also from uh, Jenga Films as well. And this is a movie here called The Ringmaster. This is another pretty cool movie. This is basically, though, about like... Um it's kind of like a, about people that are working at this gas station and you know it's like weird sort of things start to happen it's dealing with like this ringmaster kind of character and it, it kind of has like vibes of like sort of like hostile kind of like because it, it says on here hostile meets the Persian it has that kind of vibe of like this this relentless guy going like relentlessly after these people and the and and but then it's like these torture kind of stuff as well so it has that total kind of hostile kind of vibe but is it a crazy uh, crazy movie There's some really cool stuff in here. Like I said, this one here is called The Ringmaster. Uh, the other t uh, ones here, these are both from uh, Severin Films, and these are ones that I want you guys know are available. And these are really fun, kind of like um, Rambo-type movies that they were doing, uh, you know, because... Um, this is from director Bruno Mattei, you know, who went on to do, you know, Robo War, which um, Seven Films released as well, which is a really fun movie. Uh, Shocking Dark, which is, I, th I really like Shocking Dark. That was like this crazy, I think Shocking Dark was the one I believe that was like, was it either Robo War or Shocking Dark. I think Shocking Dark was the one that was kind of like Aliens, I believe. And these ones are sort of, like I said, like these Rambo in the jungle kind of movies about people uh, and then trying to get away from the bad kind of characters. Like that essentially is what they are. But they're really, really fun movies. And it has uh, Strike Command and Strike Command 2 here, you know, uh, from them. And then on these ones, like I said, these are really, really fun movies. And then on Strike Command, that has War Machine interview with uh, Claudio for, uh, Ferguson, for, Ferguson uh, has on here interview interview on here with the co-writer uh, in production promo as well as a trailer and then on this one it has an interview with Claudio Fergresso as well as an interview with actor uh, Brent Huff and as well as a trailer but definitely really really fun uh, movies and the next one this is from MVD and this is from their Rewind collection I always love this collection because the original you know first run of releases of them you know for certain releases when they have the slip covers they, they have like these VHS style slip covers like I said they're usually on the first run like when they first release they have the slip covers and I, I love the way they're designed and this is a movie too that I always really like this movie so I'm so glad to have a Blu-ray of this one and this is a movie which is a really early movie with Bill Paxton called uh, Mortuary and it's a great movie like it's one of those movies too you don't hear about too often and it's a really really cool movie it's about this you know girl whose like father was you know worked in this mortuary and like her father had died and I like, got killed in this pool and like something weird had happened there's like all this suspecting about there was murder and everything and the daughter was like having these weird sort of dreams and these visions of things and everything and then her boyfriend starts like seeing what she was saying like this this kind of figure this mask kind of figure in this grease paint kind of look and everything and you know he's actually saw this and it's kind of about trying to figure out what's going on and there's these murders that are going on it's a really cool movie and bill paxton is great in here he was really really good in this movie and it has on here though inside it also has a mini uh poster as well for the film so that's really cool that's what they include as well with the you know ones that include the slip covers the first one they have mini posters as well and on here though feature wise this has um you know an interview on here with the composer as well as like i said the collectible mini poster and the next one I got here is from Unearth Films, and this is the brand new two disc collector's edition here of the Ryan Nicholson film Hangar. And Ryan Nicholson, though, he passed away a little less than two years ago, and he was such a cool guy. You know, it's it's funny, is he was like one of the very first directors that I remember ever talking to like online and, you know I remember talking to him back in the day on Facebook and even talking to him back then about doing the film Famine uh, that he directed but it didn't end up working out for me because it was in Canada and getting there and everything but I talked to him about doing that and if you guys watch that movie you might be able to figure out what character I was 
probably going to be doing if you ever have seen that movie. There's one particular character with a candy bar. Uh, but, so I always knew that was what it would have been. Uh, but, you know, this movie, though, is a great movie. It is a really, you know, if you know Ron Nicholson's movie, he was always, you know, he's a special effects artist is what he mainly did. And then he started doing films, directing as well. But he really would put a basis on gore and special effects and these crazy, like the most intense kills and that kind of stuff. And this is basically, though, about this baby that was aborted and then comes back for, you know, lived and came back for revenge and stuff. And it's all takes place in this junkyard. And there's all these crazy, weird characters in here that are like in, insane and stuff like that. And they're wearing all these crazy makeup and all this stuff. There is a really crazy movie, uh, but a really cool one. If you guys have not seen this one, but it had, this, like I said, this is a two disc collector's edition. This has a commentary track on here with the director, has the making of on here, uh, on set with Lloyd Kaufman. And what's cool about that, too, was uh, Lloyd Kaufman uh, did, you know, would do these behind the scenes. And I love those things. Because, like, you know, he, he, I don't know if he still shoots them anymore when he goes to film sets, but he goes and does his take on going to set. And he, they, they release a lot of them, too, on those direct your own movie kind of ones that he did, like the DVD sets. But I love those. Those are honestly my favorite things to ever see is when people film a little video going to a film set. I, don't, I, know, I know not everybody likes that stuff. But, but yeah, though, like I was saying, though, I always love, like, the on set kind of videos and that kind of stuff. But the last ones here, these are ones. I'll just want the guys know are available, and these ones are also from MVD. And these two ones here are both from the MVD Marquee Collection. This one here is called The Last Time I Committed Suicide, and the other one here is called uh, Mr. Jealousy. Mr. Jealousy has uh, Eric Stoltz, and on that one, that has a brand new um, you know feature on here, which has brand new interviews on here. It's a 45 minute uh, you know uh, uh, documentary on here. It also has a theatrical trailer. And then on The Last Time I Committed Suicide, that one has um, Thomas Jane in the film, Keanu Reeves, Adrian. Brody and that one has the original theatrical trailer on this one and the other one here this is from um, MVD as well this is one like I said just one you guys know was available it's a movie here called Incarnation and this one like I said this is called Incarnation and the last one is one called um, from MVD as well called 42nd Street Broadway's British, uh, biggest show on the West End's biggest stage here come and meet and dance your feet here, like I said, want to let you guys know that this one was available here, you know, um, you know, as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.